Today I'm talking to you from Airbnb NAZ. Uh, we're doing the national trail today. Not with Pip. Pip's gonna have to stay here. Sorry, Pipper. You can't ride bikes. It's the thumbs. It's a rad little spot. I love Airbnbs now that are becoming way more dog friendly. This one's got a yard in the back. Pretty cheap. Nice little setup here. It's like a own little mini house. Yeah, let me get a little more comfortable. Let me sit down for a second. I guess I should probably add in this as a point of reference. I'm talking today after the ride. I don't usually down IPAs before the ride, not that bad. Uh, the thing about this trail that got me the first time is that a lot of the stuff I saw in videos because this is such a popular trail in person is a lot bigger. Um, this trail also has this kind of routine where it's flat and it looks kind of easy for like a couple hundred yards and then you got drops, rocks, steeps, all of a sudden boom, 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 tight turns kind of catches you off guard. Anyway, it's about that time I'm gonna stop rambling. Because it's time to ride our bikes. Let's go. One of the first things you'll notice when you pull into the parking lot is how accommodating everything is. You've got picnic tables for lunch, bathrooms that are kept clean, maps, and basically trailheads around the entire circle of the lot. And this will lead us over to where we're going to climb up, which is Mormon Trail. The reason we're doing that is because the, the end of this bit of the National Trail is just super steep and loose and it's just for a better climb. I've done this trail once about two years ago, so I think the point of memorizing the ins and outs of the trail is long gone, so I'm basically riding blind today. I'm going to try to take it a little bit easy. You really have to be present the entire ride. You can't really just go on autopilot ever. Not that you ever should on a trail system, but this is one of those ones where it'll punch you in the stomach real quick if you take it for granted. One of the reasons I love trail systems like this is because of that, because it forces you to stay on the trail, your brain stay in the ride, instead of daydreaming off and thinking about work or you know any other kind of stuff you have going on. There's my mental health fun fact tip of the day. And about a half a mile in, you're gonna look for this trail marker and take the Mormon trail up top. in this wash zone. Gives you a little taste of what's coming up next. What you have to look forward to. Hey. When, when you come to the split, don't take javelin. Take Mormon on the left. This ride will definitely test your techie climbing skills almost the whole way up. Station, station, gotta take it in. Ride him blind. <laughs> that was a fun section. So you're gonna take that down for Mormon and we're gonna meet up with National Trail any second and take a right and a head west. And welcome to National Trail. This part going west is a little climby. Uh, people usually 
if they're not riding both ways they'll shuttle from the other end and come east but it's fun to go both ways some boulders to play on boulders and rocks to climb Today I think is the heaviest my pack's ever been. It's kind of hot out, so you can notice the cactus in front of me. Made sure I had plenty of water. I think I put almost a gallon in, almost three liters. Two tubes, bike pump, CO2 cartridge. Because it's kind of a long ride and one of the rockiest trails you're gonna ride. Sharp rocks everywhere, big and small. All it takes is one little guy to give you a, a nice shred zone. So come prepared. I'd rather have a little bit extra weight on my back than have the ride turn to crap. There she is, the waterfall. I'd say this is probably one of the most famous MTB features in the country it's so freaking gnarly looking and I do believe only two people have climbed it I could be wrong there's probably more but I've seen Jeff Kennel weed I think he did it in one of his videos and Jeff Lenowski did one where he did the waterfall and then continued up the entire other side of this thing so anyway the waterfall a different kind of appreciation station it's always a reality check when you come to something you've seen videos of a bunch of times doesn't look too bad I could do that and then you come to the actual spot and <laughs> you're like totally humbled this is doable i think i mean it's nothing too insane but it's definitely bigger than i thought it would look and trying something like this solo i think is just stupid i don't know the correct line I don't really have someone to tow me in so it's for another day i'm trying to be smart these days i ride solo a lot so it's a little bit of a different story if you're putting yourself at risk all the time by yourself in the middle of nowhere. Moving on. National Trail. This is the last section before the turnaround. This is definitely the most technical bit we've hit so far. Fun section. And eventually, you'll come to the staircase. Take a water break and take in your next appreciation station, Phoenix. So we're just gonna head back in, same way we came. technical section right straight away. Okay, the real fun begins now. Let's get back into the National Trail. Man, it's like riding a new every time. 
tight corners. Even though you know you've seen them, they still surprise you. getting a workout in this section too. I looked at this on the way up. Let's see if it's still... All right, <laughs> a little slow. Could have hit that faster, but riding blind. It's kind of hard to see the trail in some sections. It kind of blends in with the, the washes that run through it. I think this is a drop. Yep. This section of stuff. I remember walking up it. There's a splinter rock at the bottom there. And this is the waterfall, which I'm gonna have to do a pass on. Remember this section. Really tight. But not too technical. All the way around. Was a steepo. A little more speed that probably could have been a drop properly, not just a front wheels popper. Cheese grater. Thanks. Okay, we got a couple options here. We can go up Mormon, which is the way we came, or keep on National.
Okay, so I decided to go up Mormon, take the same exact way down we took up, keep it simple. I've taken the National Trail to the dirt road before, and I haven't done this yet. So, add a little uh, extra blind, extra blind riding and right into the chunk. One more appreciation station and then let's do it. What's up man? Into the cheese. Woo! That's got the GoPro effect for sure. Ooh, it's tricky, tricky. That's a first. That rock just banged off my bike and smashed my leg. Better my leg than the frame, right? We're almost finishing it out right now. Dang a left on this last little section of single track on the Mormon Trail. Thanks for letting me bring your map to life. Give me a like if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't, and stick around. New videos every week. And with that, let's check on Pupper Pip. Let's see if we can catch him off guard. There he is. Come on. What are you doing, Pip? What are you doing? That's a good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy.